This is Dave. And today I just wanted to go over some Apple products that recently dropped uh, to show you guys some of the products I would buy if I was looking at Apple products, if I was willing to spend more money. They started with, let's start off the MacBook Air with the, there is different options when it comes to their MacBooks it has the M1 chip and the M2 chip. The M2 chip is where it's at. It has the latest features, the biggest boost in performance. That's going to be very important because you're going to be running a lot of applications at once, especially if you're doing work or design and things like that. MacBook Air is a nice compromise between uh, price and performance because you do get a nice, a really big screen. The screen on the MacBook Air is going to be a lot bigger than the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And it's going to be with the same size. You get a 13.6 inch, so almost a 14 inch uh, liquid retina display true tone. These are some uh, extraordinarily good names for their uh their products here and you can get an eight gig unified memory version for twelve hundred dollars or you can get this one for fifteen hundred dollars which looks like it has some sort of uh adapter here and then it has a double the storage if it were me i'd probably be looking more at the 256 and I would just extend it with some other storage. I wouldn't want to spend another $300 just for double the storage. And this is the one I would get. I wouldn't worry about the the regular MacBook 13-inch Pro because it's essentially the same thing here. It's just going to be more expensive. Let me just make sure those prices. Yeah, so the regular MacBook, it's going to be more expensive. It, it does have um, more ports. It is a little bigger. The, the screen is going to be smaller. And it is a more stable build. But I, I like the thinness and the portability because personally, I wouldn't be looking at this as my primary computer. I would be ha I would have a desktop uh, solution for a primary. So this would be an on-the-go thing. Um, so I wouldn't get the, the, the MacBook here Pro. But some people do like having a laptop as a primary. I see more and more people choose a laptop as a primary desktop. If you were passionate about laptops in that regard, you could get these little fancy, look at this, like it's like Prince, this nice purple design on here. It kind of just makes you just want to buy it just by looking into the textile purple design. Just buy it and feel like royalty. You have this, um, wow, $2,000. Yes, that is uh, um, pretty much the cost of my computer. And that including the cost of my 3080 ti video card it's almost the price this this is pretty much the price of my computer when it's all said and done right here um and this is it for people who are really serious about developing maybe they're developing for apple or or they prefer to use the development tools on apple over windows which in my opinion they're pretty much it's pretty much a similar the same experience but a lot of people of uh, the culture of development the culture of creativity um they uh, causes people to feel like they have to buy the MacBook product to be a part of that ecosystem. In that case, you can purchase, you know, for to two thousand dollars, you can have this five twelve workspace. I would definitely not go into these higher tiers because it's not like you're doing anything other than using the development products. You're not you're not gaming on here. You're not doing intense graphical design, and I, I it, it appears like uh, all the graphical capabilities on across the board for these. Uh, computers are all going to be the same. What you're going to do is you're going to get more multitasking as you move forward and more storage space as you go to the higher tiers. Over three grand uh, where you could get this other one for two grand. I would say if you're going to go, I, I, I like this two grand here if, if this is the solution for you. And then of course you can bump up to 16, which I think is pointless at this point. You might as well get a Mac or a desktop or something else, but you can bump up to a 16 inch laptop i wouldn't do that i would stick with the 14 and then we have this new product here which is the mini mac now i don't like the regular mac or the regular mac is essentially a screen with a computer behind it use that i think they start at about 13 14 thousand dollars excuse me 1400 dollars uh, but they did create this no this more uh, minimalistic design the uh, mini mac starts at about 600 dollars all the $600 one is very, it's, it's very limited, but you can, um, you can see here they're, they're talking about their M2s and their M2 Pro, which is why I recommend getting the M2 laptop, because if this benchmark is truthful, it is faster than, uh, an I, a course, an i7 and a Radeon Pro, which is really impressive. It's going to get you a lot of speed.
The Mini Max you see here, it starts at the $600, but you're only getting eight gigs of RAM with 256. I would I would um, just opt because I'm I'm a big fan of memory. Although Apple could work differently from Windows, you could probably get away with the eight gigs with your, your Apple software because it's going to probably be more streamlined, more compatible with the hardware. It's not it's not like creating layers and layers on top of third party hardware. Everything is going to be first party and designed to work fluidly. But you could still, with that said, if you have a lot going on, you want to have multiple screens open, you may want to look at this price for the mini. You'd still get that minimalistic tower design, but you would also have to get a separate display. And since it has HDMI, you could connect this to a regular monitor. You wouldn't have to use a Apple proprietary monitor. So these are some of the products that Apple has just come out with that they are using to uh, attack the creative scene, break into that uh, and assert dominance on their brand. You know that you're going to get the premium price. You know, it is what it is, but you do get to flex on the window people or the people that show up with Dell laptops in your meetings if you're in a creative circle.